Clarence TV swing to Champions League midfielder Louis Dunn after the 3-1 uh, win here at Concord. Louis, what a great team performance that was, back-to-back -back wins as well. Yeah, um, I think both wins, I think the Braintree game, or even the Malden game, just before the Braintree game, um, you could start to see a, a bit of a togetherness amongst the team. Um, even the, the games before, uh, you know, I think I did an interview after the, the Eastbourne game, we were losing by the odd goal, we were always in games and I think we've just we've just upped our, our levels um, as a team. Um, no individual, um, everything's done as a team, as a collective, um, you know, and that's credit to, to the manager and credit to us as, as players to, to go out there and put the performances in and with, that we've done in the last three games because I think Billericay, um, we were unlucky to, to not get the three there. So, yeah, it's been fantastic, I think, for the fans as well. I mean, that's magnificent, you know, at the end, even um, in the Braintree game as well, at the end, they've been brilliant the last the last couple of games and we're giving them something to cheer about, which is, which is good. So, um, yeah, we go on to the next one and we're looking forward already to, to the training and then on to, to Braintree on Sunday. Yeah, and uh, with Christian Frimpong coming in the side, you've moved out to yeah. sort of left of a diamond. How's that for you? It seems to be getting on the ball a bit more and yeah. a bit more freedom to play. Yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, the, the role that, that Frim's done since he's come in was a little bit different to, to maybe me when I was in that role. Um, you know, Frim's aggressive, um, great person to have behind you. You know, there's always that security there. So me, Chez and, and, and Dara can, can really, you know, put the press on and show what legs we have in there. And, um, you know, Chez puts that quality ball in for, for the goal, you know, and um, having Frim there allows him to, to get into those areas. And for me personally, you know, I, you know, I like playing in that diamond. Um, I like drifting out wide, drifting into pockets to pick up the ball. And yeah, it's, it sort of released me a little bit, which, which you know, is, is good and, and we're, we're winning. So um, all positive at the moment, for sure. And uh, not been easy conditions to play the last in December. Rainy, foggy, windy. So yeah. it's, uh, it's good to be able to battle against that as well. Yeah, I think that again shows our togetherness I think um, you know sometimes you can use that as an excuse as a player I think and, and I don't think one person in there you know is is shying away from it at the moment um, whether it's fog rain the pitch was was of course heavy but you know we're excited for every game at the moment we're just wanting to roll on to the next one and even when we were, were struggling with the results we still wanted to go into the next one you know positive I said in my interview last time so you know we're reaping the rewards at the moment we're on a high, we're on an up, and, and we just want to keep going, keep going and keep going. And if we keep putting performances in like that, you know, there's, there's no reason why we can't keep going. After the Eastbourne game, we had a long chat with you after that game, and it was, it's really turned around after that, that enforced break with the trophy, going out the trophy. Yeah. What do you think's uh, changed? Um, obviously, the formation's changed, which obviously credit to Simo Spills. You know, we've obviously worked on it. We've worked on it in training relentlessly, and, um, you know, as you say, we're reaping the rewards from it. Um, but you know, not much has changed from us as a group. We're, we're a good group. You know, there's there's no there's no person in there who won't run, won't work hard, and I think the fans are seeing that. Um, so from our point of view, it's brilliant. You know, I've got to give a mention to him, Reggie. You know, that's fantastic that he scored that. You know, it was a great moment for everyone, the fans, um, the players, and, and the staff coming together, um, especially when the game. You know, I felt like we were comfortable. I think it was two one. I felt like we were probably the, the team more on the ascendancy to get the third. I know Jacko had the chance one on one. Um, we had a couple of others flashed across the box, um, but for him to score that, you know, being you know, young and, and Reggie's got undoubted quality, so um, fantastic to see him score. Yeah, and it's nice to see the, the people in the in the youth cup team coming through, like like Reg, uh, Reggie and, and and Freddie coming off the bench, Luke as well, and then obviously Guy and yeah. and Tom coming to the side of late and, yeah. and doing well. Yes, yeah, and I think even from the start of the season, you know, we used to do training, we used to do five O's, and you'd pick oldest middle team and youngest team. You know, I'm 23, Cam's 23, 24, and, and we're in the middle team. Do you know what I mean? So that just shows um, the quality of the younger players. You know, Reggie, Luke, um, Freddie as well has come on. Um, I can't remember who was a guy who's played the last couple. You know, there's, lo there's others, Evans, you know, in training doing well. So there's loads, you know, loads of players. And it's, and it's good to see that, that those boys are, are coming into the team and doing well. So, yeah, it was a great, um, it was a great moment for Reggie. And, and hopefully he can, he can kick on from there. And how's the, the bodies in the, in the change room? Two games in less than 48 hours. Must yeah. be time for the squad. Um, no, we're fine. We're fine. I think there's nothing. I think Dara, I don't know what happened to him, um, but um, everyone else just, you know, I think because we've got that energy from, from winning and, and the excitement from winning, I think, you know, the boys are professional. 
Dave's obviously coming as captain now, and you know he's sent that level of professionalism. Um, and you know he's recovering after games, we're recovering after games, so we're ready to go again and put in performances like that. So three 0 up against Braintree, three one today shows um, the rewards from us us being professional. So um, yeah, we've got a little uh, while now, I think, till Sunday. So I think we've got a training session Thursday recover and we'll be ready to go again at, uh, at their place. Yeah, Braintree want a bit of revenge. They had a decent yeah. result with a draw against Dartford well, today, yeah. so they've had a response there and they wouldn't respond again. Yeah, you know, every team, you know, this is it's a difficult league. You know, we've we've come off the back of not winning and we've come off the back of a draw and two wins against teams in and around us. Concord, I know, are mid-table, but, um, you know, that's obviously given us a springboard and, you, you know, we've played against Dartford ourselves and Drew, we've played against Oxford City and Drew, so this league's tight. And, um, you know, Braintree will be up for it, obviously, because of, of what happened the other day, but the way we're playing at the moment, we're just focused on ourselves and, and the confidence and rolling in and the fans, they'll be with us at Braintree, I'm sure, and hopefully we can give them another day like today. OK, well done, Louis, and Happy Cheers. New Year. Happy New Year, guys.